how bad are the Lakers going to stink this season? Um, 0-82. And away we go, and the season is underway. The Warriors are victorious. How much of a douche is LeBron? Talk to me about how the Lakers going to stink. He's a pretty big douche. Lakers cannot secure the win. He's a major douche. $800. How bad are the Lakers going to stink this season? They're going to get cracked. The Lakers cannot get the W. <laughs> how bad are the Lakers going to stink this season? Fucking burn! Reeves on him, sidestep three. Man, man. Mike, we're not so goal season. Quick, like they just did. Get some good answers to whether or not the Lakers are gonna stink this year. Ladies and gentlemen, Will Connell. Good evening, Boston, and welcome to Pulse of the Greed. I'm sure you're wondering how we got here. Over the course of this episode, I will attempt to relay what happened the night the truth came to town and a win became more than just a number in a column, the night where a dream almost became a reality and the line between fact and fiction was blurred. It's no secret that the Los Angeles Lakers are the biggest clown show on two wheels. It's also no secret that they are the sworn enemy of the Boston Celtics. Years of bitter rivalry struck a new chord when in 2018 free agent LeBron James signed with the evil purple and gold, adding another layer to the already tumultuous relationship between James and the Celtics. I knew that it was my duty to see what Celtics Nation had to say about the current state of the rivalry. What I didn't know was that at 5.30 p.m. the day of the game, Paul Pierce was going to be doing a Bushmills-sponsored event at the Greatest Bar, mere moments from the Garden. It was at that moment I realized it was my destiny to get the truth in our Fit Check segment. Inside greatest bar right now. I knew that it was going to be packed in the greatest bar, but I looked like a complete bumbling moron with all my equipment. I just kept bumping into people. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Follow me, T Bay Flip, TikTok, Instagram. It's me, I kept saying, draw the ire of Celtics fans, and I don't know if I used it properly once. Also, just hilarious how Gary Washburn turns his whole body to talk to us. Just just great. I love you, Gary. Also, I was not recording um, the entire time. One last question. How big of a douche is LeBron? No From real journo to real journo. That was nice. That's what I'm talking about. Buzz, buzz. So at this point, I'm trying to act on my feet. I'm trying to come up with a plan. They're just bringing him from one end of the bar to the other. Like, he's doing interviews with Dirty Water TV. Things are looking great. As they're transitioning, Paul, to the other side of the bar. So I go with, hey, Truth, one question for the radio. I don't know. Paul! Paul! A question for the radio, please! I don't know, everyone was making fun of the microphone. I don't know what this is, a fucking vibrator or something in my mouth. So I just, I, I just went with, I'm, I'm a radio guy now. Parents should be thrown in fucking jail. Terrible parenting. God. Now I'm realizing that if I don't do something, this just isn't going to happen. And then I see one lady talking with Bushmills people. I just need to go for it. Doing an online digital exclusive. Is there any way to do this Yeah, 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 yeah. Good evening, Boston. Will Connell of Pulse of the Green reporting live ahead of this East-West legendary matchup, Celtics versus Lakers. We're going to hit the streets and see what the Boston faithful has to say ahead of this crucial, crucial matchup. How come nobody told me that I, I look like shit? Get a night up from the sky. I feel like you're putting on an accent. All right, all right. It's from Australia. Oh, from Australia. Australia. I'm gonna watch the Celtics destroy the Lakers. Uh, how much of a douche is LeBron? 
Now, why is LeBron James winning the bubble title the most LeBron thing of all time? Because he's LeMickey, and we're playing against A. Disney tonight, so. You just have to read this. Is that a Derek Fisher jersey? Uh, no, Lonzo Ball. Oh, that's embarrassing. Fit check. I'm going to show you three photos. You just got to you just gotta tell me what you think of the fit. Here's the first one. JT is one of the freshest guys in the NBA, so yeah, super fresh. Okay, here's the second one. Yeah, no. That's my favorite show. All right, here's the last. Yo, freshest dude in America. You heard it first. Let's go, C's. Let me tell you something. Big little Bible, folk. That's my Instagram. YouTube, everything. You won't see me. Niggas be stunting, and I already know. Big Lou, I told them niggas that I'm not know. I love them motherfuckers. Get my rock, get my rock. So at one point, I don't think this got on camera, but I actually hit Big Lou's glasses with the tip of my microphone. I thought I was going to die. The King, he said something embarrassing. Ain't nothing but embarrassed. Oscar nominees were announced today, and I was pretty happy with the results. Here are the 10 nominees for Best Motion Picture. Everything Everywhere All at Once was totally not annoying. Everything Everywhere All at Once. Tar Absolutes had... Uh, something to say and wasn't insufferable garbage. Tar, Todd Field, Alexander Milchan, and Scott Lambert. Tar suck. Tar is like a, it's like a litmus test. If you like it, you're, you were tricked and you're actually dumb as fuck. However, when it comes to the best actor category, I for one think LeBron James should have been nominated for his performance in the acting like he cares about this team. LeBron James for acting like he cares about the Lakers. At a recent press conference, Lakers head coach Darvin Ham was asked about his affiliation with the con controversial 4chan message board POL and the role he played in galvanizing the January 6th Capitol riots. Can we be your thumbnail? Can you be our thumbnail? I'm going to think about it. There we go. Although I'm excited to be attending Celtics Lakers matchup, I'm a bit bummed out that I'm missing the new episode of my favorite show. The Real Friends of Weho. We're not trying to pretend that we're the sisterhood of the traveling jockstrap. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go to air hug? This is kind of hot. <laughs> Todrick. It's been getting terrible reviews. Like, it looks like a terrible show. I'm making fun of them for liking a bad show. I just want to make that crystal fucking clear. Yeah, I actually heard it earlier. Someone referred to AD as A Disney, and I thought it was hilarious. I'm just, they're trash. I bet you're saying to yourself, Will. What's the hook? What's the point of this video? Well, to put it bluntly, I lied and fibbed my way into a box for one of the best games of this Celtics season. After I told the representative that I was with 90.9 WBUR, I was then escorted to the other side of the greatest bar. The truth was there doing an interview with Dirty Water TV for the second time. The representative told us that he had to do two more interviews and then he would be able to give us our quick soundbite for the radio. Paul was then escorted to behind the bar and started giving out Bushmills like it was candy to the Boston faithful. She essentially tells us to just stay here 640, 645, and we're still standing in place. It's like 720 right now. And so I find the representative and I go, hey, did the truth leave? She goes, he did leave, but I have an extra ticket you can conduct the interview in our box. I get up to the box, and I see the contact, I see the representative, and she looks at me kind of like, kind of like this. She's like, I can see that this box is, uh, is, is false because it's missing the truth. So she's like, I feel really bad about this. You know, I really want you to get your interview. You know, I feel terrible. And I'm like on cloud nine right now. So I'm like, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just like, I'm like bad, right? So she's like, I can get you a phone or a Zoom interview with Paul. Although I was unable to get the truth to rate my fit, the evening was a success. A gritty overtime win by Boston included Jalen exploding in overtime, as well as one of the biggest latantrums in the history of the NBA. Leaving the TD Garden, I thought it was only fitting to celebrate with the people who know me the best. The Boston Celtics faithful. Hey, 
Go Seas! Uh, let's go! What makes us win so good is because oh, the last three seasons, we lay down and die after the third quarter. What does it smell? It smells like, oh, a win. Yes, it's loud! Talk about the loud! The loud is crazy right now. Tough, tough scene! Memories that will last a lifetime. For Pulse of the Green, I'm Will Connell. And thanks for tuning in, Boston. As always, fuck the Lakers and go Celtics.